Okay, this video is another example for how to do a truth table with P, Q, and R using more statements. So here you have our statement at the top. We have P and Q and R or P or Q and not R. Okay, so what I have here is a, a humongous truth table. Okay, and it's already kind of set up just so we don't have too much time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start at the way beginning so you can see how this is going to work. We're going to go ahead and do all the combinations first, okay? So we have that they can all be true. Remember that this part right here is just a standard table for a PQR, which can also be found in your book. We can have true, false, true. We can swap them, so true, true, false. And we can have true, false, false, okay? Those are all the possibilities where P is true. And then we just kind of swap these, these around. Then we can have that P is false, and these are both true. We can have that P and Q are false, and this one is true. And then we can have that this is false, this is true, and this one is false. So again, swap those two. And then we have the possibility where they are all false. Okay, so these are all the possible combinations for P, Q, and R. Okay, so what I went ahead and did here is I looked at my statement and I said, well, what, what am I going to need that I don't already have? So I see a lot of P, P, Q's in here and I do see an R right here, but I already have that. I see a not R. So that's why I went ahead and started with not R first. Essentially, you could probably start with either of these if you wanted, but I went ahead and just get this one out of the way. Okay, so not R. I mean, I'm going to be looking here at R and just pretty much swapping whatever's in this column here. So the first one would be false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true. So all I did is I, I changed every one in this, from in this column to the opposite of whatever's in the R column. Okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and start from here now. So... I'm going to go ahead and do the P and Q and R. This one, you could actually probably do it all together if you wanted because it's an AND statement. And remember that for AND, as long as um, they all have to be true. So if I wanted to do this all together, I could. Um, I did it in separate uh, columns just, so, just to go step by step. Okay, So we're going to start with this part first, the P and the Q, which is this P and Q. So now I'm looking P and Q. And remember that for this one to be true, for an AND statement to be true, we have, oh, wrong part, sorry. For AND to be true, we need them both to be true. Okay, so that happens here, true, true, for sure. So that first one is true. The second one, we have true, false, so false, true, true, so true, true, false, 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 true, false, and just looking at them real quickly, it looks like the rest are going to be false because I have a false in all of the P's. So that means automatically that the rest of these are false. Okay, moving on. Swapping colors here with my pen. So now I'm going to look at, so I looked at this part and I'm going to look at all these three together, P and Q and R. So P and Q and R. So this means all three of them have to be true. And if you remember in our combination, that only happens once. That happens in the very first one. So now I'm looking here, here, and here. So the very first row, all three of them are true. Okay? Everywhere else, I have at least one false. Look, false, 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 false. So that means that the entire rest of the column is going to be false. So once you start picking up these, you know, you memorize what's what and and or mean, a lot of this will be a lot easier. And I believe one of your questions actually was asking you um, if you can tell what a what the truth value is going to be when you give it an and. And yeah, as long as one of them is false, you can pretty much kind of stop there, okay? But unfortunately for us, we have an or up here connecting these two, so that means we do have to go through the rest, okay? So... We already have all of this part done. We already have that not R. We already have P, we already have Q, but we, we don't have this right here, Q 
and not are. So that's my next one, Q and not are. Again, remember that and means they both have to be true. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put that here. So I'm gonna look at, let's see, Q, which is this one, I have multi arrows here now. So Q and not R. So not R would be this one. Okay, so they both have to be true for this one to work. So let's see, first one, we have true, false. So that's gonna be false. I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster just cause it's, it's, it's kinda hard to record with the phone like this. So the first, next one is false. Next one we have true, true. So there's there's one true at least. There's the values, okay. And then we have, let's see, we're here. So I'm looking at, oh, that's my place here. False, true, so false. True, false. Another false, another false. Uh, this one looks like it's gonna be true. Okay, and the last one is false, uh, false, true, so false. All right, so it looks like I have two trues in this entire column, okay, in this column here. Notice also I did put my paper sideways because this one's kind of a, uh, it's a longer truth table, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and do the entire thing here. So I'm gonna do this whole thing, P or Q and not R. So the or is gonna change things for us a bit because remember that or, or means that as long as one of them is true, so we're here. Okay, as long as one of them is true, then the whole thing is true. So for this one, I'm looking at this column because that's this part right here. And I'm looking at P, which is the very first one. Okay, so let me see if I can do this kind of with my, my hands here. So it looks like the first one, I'm gonna go through it first verbally and then we'll see, we can just kind of write them all in. So that one's gonna be true, okay? Cause we have a true on this side. True, true, true. Oh, we have a false there. I'm gonna write that one down. So let's see, where was it? False was right here, so false. Okay, and I'm just kind of doing this just because it's, like I said, the camera. We have another false right underneath it. So false, false. Okay, and it looks like the ones after that are gonna be true, because I have a true here. And, oh, actually, no, I have another false right here. So everywhere else it's true. Okay, so now finally we're gonna go ahead and do the last part, which is, let's switch pens here, which is the entire thing. Okay, so the entire thing is pretty much all of this column. So there's that column and all of this column. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle these because there's a lot of letters on here. And I wanted to see, this is an or statement, okay? Which means that as long as one of them is true, then this is true. So let's see, the first one's gonna be true, second one's true, because of this one, third one is true, fourth one is true, fifth one is false, so that one I'm gonna go ahead and put a false here. So this one is false, okay? The one right underneath that is also false. And then we have true, false. And everywhere else is true. Okay, so in the end, this is what our truth thing, our truth table looks like. These are the values. And just like the problem before, if it had if they were asking you specifically, uh, let's say where P is true and Q is false and R is false. That would be, let me see, we have true, false, false would be this column right here, if I row, and that means our statement would be true, okay? Depends what they're asking. Hopefully that helped clarify some things, guys. If you need more uh, examples, just let me know.